What criteria are used to assess curriculum alignment of the experiences offered by employers and community services partners? For credit EL opportunities that are embedded intentionally in a program or course are often meant to prompt students to bridge theory and practice. These opportunities extend or reinforce core lessons from the curriculum. Credit experiential learning is intended to provide students with a means to achieving specific program level learning outcomes. When universities or colleges work with industry and community partners, they want to ensure the nature and quality of learning so that students can achieve program curriculum goals. The development of both occupationally specific as well as broad-based knowledge, skills, and habits of mind are often the aim of universities and colleges when seeking to prepare students for transition into the world of work. Experts in post-secondary education and in industry or community agencies benefit from working together to think through how students' EL activities can be best structured, supported, and assessed. It is essential that instructors and academic support professionals objectively assess the capacities of external partners for hosting EL opportunities before engaging students in defined activities. So, uh, we... We choose which courses will have um, course-based research projects in them um, a couple of ways. First of all, um, the needs of the company. And um, if a company defines a need, then somebody who works in Niagara Research and Innovation will sort of, will touch base with the Associate Dean for the area and talk about the need and see if there's any good fit. Course. One of the projects that I had had uh, a few years ago was this big concept and it was uh, the they thought that the students could come in and kind of change the world with this project and uh, I didn't scope it out very well in the beginning. I went in saying oh for sure we can do this and uh, my students can, can definitely make a difference but once we started looking at it there were political, internal, external factors that were impacting this project and so really for a student to come in and drive some level of a change at, on a project that had a bigger systems issue was really not feasible. So I think from my end, my uh, my key learning from that is to really make sure the projects are scoped out to student uh, students' desires for being involved in a specific activity, uh, their skill set, and what's actually achievable. Because we want the students to leave as well, saying, you know, I was able to make a difference, even if it was in one student's life, or if it w or in one patient's life, or maybe I changed a process that was helpful for the nurses. Uh, I want them to be able to say they did something, so they feel like they had that value add. So scoping the project is really, really important. I really kind of evolve it at, over time and improve it at a, on a kind of weekly basis, but at a bigger structural level, I'll engage with my community partners and uh, over informal conversations, sometimes take them out for a coffee or go for lunch and pay for it just to say, hey, how are things working? What do I need to change? What do I need to make better on my end so that it works better for you in the community? And I think those real kind of informal relationship building pieces give me that feedback of how do I need to, how I need to and should improve the course here. 